What's up guys, it's the boss here and welcome back to episode 2 of my new season of Let's Play Ultimate Team. So, picking up from where we left off on episode 1 then, if you did catch the end of that, you did see that I actually went and absolutely failed and I did go and try and do the 12 manager tasks only to find out that EA actually doesn't give you a free gold pack if you've already done it. Because obviously this is my season 2 of this series, so it didn't actually give me a gold pack, so I was really, really pissed and I'd wasted all that time and all those coins on getting the 12 manager tasks done. And as I said in episode 1, because I had spent so much time doing it, I did actually transfer 5,000 coins onto this account so I could go and open the pack that I would have got if this was a brand new game attack. But as I said, as this is the sec second series of this, I've already used this account before uh, and EA wouldn't give me a second free gold pack. So I did go and buy that uh, 5,000 coin gold pack and I did get absolutely no one. I did get a uh, gold uh, Spanish goalkeeper, which I actually did stick into my starting squad because any goalkeeper, no matter what the chemistry, is always better than the the goalkeeper that you're going to be getting in your starter pack and I did actually go and buy my first striker of this series and I did go and buy Mural as you saw by the print screen that was on the screen and all the comments on yesterday's video I had 250 comments and I would probably hand down say over a hundred of those comments were you guys saying get Mural because he is such a beast and he was in my squid board at the weekend which is a coincidence uh, but this series is basically all going to be about what you guys say whatever you say in the comments I'm going to do if the high if the top rated comment of what I'm recording is by this player. I, if I can and he fits into the squad at the time, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I buy that player and that he does fit into the squad, such as Muriel. So, as you see, then we are heading into our first game here. And within the fifth minute, Di Natale is an absolute beast. He's already taken the 1 0 lead for us within the fifth minute. And from there, I just got the ball straight back from kickoff, played the passing around game. The ball fell straight back to Muriel, ran around the goalkeeper, and he slots that in for a lovely se uh, seventh minute goal. Uh, so, I do take the lead at 2 nil on seventh minute which is absolutely lovely um but unfortunately this game doesn't last long and as you can see here the guy is actually like bun that i'm out of here see you nerds and from now on if anyone ever rage quits from me in this series i'm going to send them a message see you nerd because it really does annoy me when someone rage quits yeah you get the win but i mean if they're rage quitting that obviously means you're obviously annihilating them and you're going to be getting in those goals and i would rather play the 90 minutes get the whole use of the contracts because even if it does like you saw there i, I was two new up in the seventh minute and that does take a contract away from every single player that starts in that game which is a bummer because I wanted to get as many goals as I could and then ultimately get as many coins to go towards my team but as you saw there then I did buy my second player well technically it's my third player including Di Natale and I did buy Lulic and he is probably one of the most underrated midfielders in Ultimate Team this year you can pick him up for 500 coins yes 500 coins and he is such a beast I mean he's got 85 pace so he's by far not the slowest but I mean he's not a complete absolute pace or and he is an absolute beast on that left side of the pitch and he also does link up with Miro and Di Natale for 500 coins I mean that is basically the previous game so I cannot go wrong with him but as you can see then from this game I did take the 1-0 lead in the whatever minute what it was and it was Paul Verino I mean he is one of the bronze players that I got in the starter pack and he did bag a goal which is absolutely awesome because I am expecting Di Natale, Lulic and um, who else Miro of course to be bagging all the goals uh, for this team from now on obviously I'm I'm trying to get rid of all those bronze players as quickly as possible but I mean this passing is absolutely unbelievable Mural is an absolute tank and I genuinely hadn't played with him on ultimate team this year before the weekend just gone if you saw my squad builder at the weekend I did have a uh, Mural up front along with the six chemistry Eto. and we do go into half time at 2-0 so I'm absolutely slaughtering him I mean as you saw there by the stats I mean yeah I've only got two goals uh, which isn't by any means like he can come back from it I mean I've come back from the highest record I think I've come back down from was 4-0 down at half time which I went absolutely skits at when I did equalise in the 90th minute but as you saw there then I did bag another goal of Di Natale to put me 3-0 up and from there I was pretty confident that this guy was not going to be come back and one tip I would give you see your nerds by the way there you can see Miro absolutely destroying that centre back with his pace he is so quick his acceleration is absolutely crazy but as I was saying a good tip for you guys I mean if you're starting off brand new of ultimate team and you only do have a few gold players if you're winning and you feel you're confident enough to take off those gold players I would highly highly recommend it simply because if it's in the 60th minute if you take off your three gold players for example Lulic, Di Natale and Muriel you'll be able to save their energy significantly so that you won't have to buy any fitness cards for them to be able to survive for the next coming game so as you saw there then I did take Di Natale off and I think I took uh, Muriel off I'm not 100% sure uh, but as you can see there then Logan from the end of this 
this game, it was pretty much all my bronze players starting to bang in a few goals. His defence literally just absolutely fell apart. I mean, Fleming there then just taking the ball. Yeah, it was lucky. It did take a deflection off the goalkeeper. But nonetheless, a bronze player did get the ball past the goalkeeper there and did put me 7-0 up in the 80th minute. And uh, he did get on a little break here with uh, Henri, in fairness to him. I mean, it was a nice little goal. He was throwing in a bit of skill. Uh, but yeah, he was not coming back from this. It was just attack after attack and attack. Regan here then from outside the box. I don't know why he brought his keeper out. I think by this stage, he just thought to himself, there is no way I'm coming back from this game. I'm just going to absolutely muck around, muck about. And that is pretty much what he did. I mean, he was passing the, goal, the ball back to his goalkeeper, trying to do all this funny kind of stuff. Logan there then did go in for the challenge with the slide tackle, did manage to bag that 19th minute goal. And we did end that game at 9-1, which is absolutely awesome because that did give us that 650 coins. And that did get us out of the, uh, you can't get relegated in Division 5, but it did get us promoted. That's the word I was looking for. So after there then I did go and look for a centre back. I want, did want to boost up my defence a little bit because obviously sooner or later we're going to be in Division 4. If not after the next game, if we do win it, we're going to be in Division 4. And I did go and buy Diakite. Now again, he's six foot four and his strength is absolutely unbelievable. And again, he only costs, I think I don't know how much I bought him for there, but it is no more than like one and a half thousand coins, if that. He's an absolute monster. If you do play Ultimate Team and you do have a Serie A squad, then I would highly, highly recommend. Diakite as well as Chiellini those two together are an absolute tank at the back and obviously you can figure it out who else you can have Ogbonna again he's an absolute monster again yesterday's episode you guys were also putting in the comment section as well as Miro to get Ogbonna because as well as you will know he's probably one of the most OP centre backs in the game and also it's the exact same as Dia, uh, Diakite again he also costs ridiculously cheap I mean again I think you I've said again now around 10 times in the last 30 seconds I do apologise for that but as I was saying you can can pick uh, Ogbonna up as well for under a thousand coins. Uh, he may have creeped up recently because everyone's realising how OP he is. But Miro here then going on absolute tear. We are 4-0 up now in the 44th minute and there was no way this guy was coming back um, and he just rage quit. Seenards and as always we've got another rage quit so I do go and pop this guy a message. Seenards unfortunately this has happened a few times now because I am a, bit, a little bit ahead of myself in the recording and I've only received one, game, uh, one message back and it just didn't make any sense what Whatsoever, but you'll probably see it in future episodes. But I hope you did enjoy this. These are those are the three games for this episode. And again, that is the that is the promotion. We do have those three wins, six wins on the trot now, including episode one. And we are now in division four. So I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please do leave a like. As soon as 500 likes are smashed, I will upload episode three because I have a lot recorded and I want to get this pumped out to you guys. And as always, please do leave a comment it's in the comment section below letting me know. Who would you guys like to see me sign for this squad in episode 3? So as I said, please do leave a like. 500 likes in episode 3 will be up uploaded for you guys to watch. And also, please do leave a comment. And until my next one, I'll speak to you guys later. Take care.